I gotta say, my personality has always been quite um, timid, um, but I've grown out of that since, um, I would have to say, my college days. I think this is a Henry Ford quote. He said, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. And I think that it's very important to, to grasp that thoughts are things. And that's kind of where um, everything germinates and starts. I'm certainly um, confident when my teammates are confident in me. Um, and they've allowed me to understand that I have to believe in myself for anyone else to. Um, but sometimes you can get that boost from people when they believe in you, when, when they first realize your greatness and then you tap into your own. I kind of fell into this role as a, a figurehead and a leader in the WMBPA, our Players Association. For me to be considered, not just as a player rep, but as the president, I took that to heart after it kept happening. <laughs> Um, and I realized that it was another moment in which my peers saw leadership in me that I had not yet realized. And so that confidence that I get from my constituents in the WNBA is really what gives me um, that stature for me to be able to walk into a room and negotiate a collective bargaining agreement, um, ask for 100% of our pay in the middle of the pandemic. What I'll take most uh, from being a player and then, of course, um, having a leadership role with uh, the Players Association is that you have to realize your own value before you kind of take on challenges. And your value doesn't take away from anyone else's. And that's realized when you empower others. Also understanding that if you don't ask, the answer is no. Um, so pushing yourself to, to kind of tackle those challenges is, is something that you, you cannot fear. You can't fear failure, you can't fear um, a negative answer, um, but you can always walk into any room knowing your value, whether, whether others realize it or not.